If you're in the mood for something off the grill, but not in the mood to schlep outside, then a grill pan is the answer. And today, Adam's here to tell us more. Or if you live in an apartment and you mm. don't have a grill, people love grill pans because they make your food look like it's been cooked outside, even when you <laughs> cook it inside. So we have 10 pans here that we tested. The price range is from a low of $20 to a whopping $295. <laughs> They were all cast iron. Most of them were uncoated cast iron, but for instance, a couple of them were enameled like that one down at the end. Mm -hmm. This one is also enameled. The tests included just grilling regular pieces of white sandwich bread, paninis, mm -hmm. burgers, and glazed salmon. Yum. The name of the game with these things is the grill marks because they not only make your food look grilled, they make it taste a little bit better. So the ridges that create those grill marks were key. Mm -hmm. Higher ridges, taller ridges, bigger ridges, all better. They made yeah. more distinct grill marks like this. <laughs> That's Check some that good looking yeah, grill marks. This is actually a really handsome piece of bread. Yeah. And the grill marks are consistent mm -hmm. and they're dark. Mm -hmm. Check out this one, which had, by contrast, the lowest ridges. And check out those grill marks. <laughs> That's pretty sorry. They're a lot lighter. They mm -hmm. just don't look nearly as good. So it all had to do with the height of those ridges. These were 7.1 millimeters mm -hmm. high, almost twice as high as these, which were 3.7 millimeters high. That's substantial. Now, with all cookware, we always like a larger cooking surface. We wanted around nine inches here. Some of them fell a little bit short. Testers also really like these low flared walls, the sides of the pan, just because it was easy to get in there with tongs or a spatula, something like that. In terms of the weight, mm -hmm. there was quite a difference. That big boy next to you, <laughs> that was the heaviest. He's more than 10 and a half pounds. Wow. Yeah. Testers preferred pans that were more in the range of seven pounds. Mm. Because these are heavy, even at seven pounds, the handles matter. Mm -hmm. You wanna have like nice beefy handles. These looped ones are really good. Some of them had small ones, like that handle's not great, and look at the helper handle. Yeah, my hand would slip right off that. Yeah, and then in terms of the material, testers really preferred the uncoated mm. cast iron because it picks up seasoning, it gets a little stick resistant, it's way better. Makes sense. There were co-winners here, Julia. Two of them. This one is the Lodge Chef Collection grill pan. It's $36 and it gives us everything we want in a grill mm -hmm. pan. Nice tall ridges, great distinct grill marks, easy to handle, right size. However, if you have a little more money to spend, mm -hmm. there's a pan with a different backstory and a different price point. That's this. This is the Burrow Furnace Grill Pan. It's $110, mm. but it's made by a small manufacturer in upstate New York, and testers just felt like this was a piece of cookware art. They <laughs> loved it. All right, so there you have it. If you're in the market for a new grill pan, look for either the Lodge Chef Collection Cast Iron Grill Pan at $36 or the Burrow Furnace Grill Pan at $110. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>